Roaster! Part 2! Let's roast Heavy Rain. Durr. These are actually really impressive load screens. This is Nam and Jaden. And he looks really, really weird in the PS4 version. This is a remastered of the PS3 version. And I don't think he looked quite as weird as he does in this game. They did something to his face, and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's just, he looks just more strung out, but I guess that makes sense, considering his character. But you'll see. This is probably going to make you guys think of um, Detroit Become Human a little bit, this cool detective stuff. And the controller's vibrating. Uh, 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 uh. He's twitching. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Some kind of drug. This is where the game shines. I really like detective stuff, noir. And this is definitely, you know, detective noir kind of stuff. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. I noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. Goddamn rain. I'm really gonna love it here. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. Can't avoid stepping in the puddle. Oops. Yes, Jill. A body was found here on this patch of wood. Mind if I like stand right in front of you? I can't really hear her. Huh. I don't know why you can't hear her, but you can read the captions. So the reason I said Nam and Jaden is because of the way he pronounces his own name. Please step back, Agent Nam and Jaden. See, Nam and Jaden. Got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. His accent is kind of terrible. Check. It was so weird the way he took out his ID. He kind of went eh. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. I know this game kind of looks like crap compared to Detroit Become Human, but you gotta remember this game is like 11 years old, maybe even older than that. It's, but it really, I remember when it came out, this was incredible. And this was on PS3, so. And I thought this game took place in the future, and I guess it does by like two years. This is a. Recording. Interesting. Seven zero two three. Nam and Jaden. Tuesday. Nam and Jaden. Two thousand and eleven. Time is. Twenty eleven. See. And the game came out in like two thousand nine, maybe two thousand ten. This is a cool idea, but if this shit existed right now, it'd be like absolutely groundbreaking for detective stuff. Sorry for my lack of cat. <laughs> my lack of. Uh, Oh my god, I can't even think of the word I was trying to th say. Blah, blah, blah. Being not very articulate with words, I was trying to say. No criminal record. See, Unrelated it's all... To the investigation. Augmented reality. It's kind of cool. I, th I guess we have something like that, but not quite this advanced. So you push this button and it shows you, like, clues. Such as footprints, and there's footprints everywhere. The body must be under the tarp near the lights. I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Oh, that's right. I gotta talk to that douchebag. <laughs> You're gonna love this guy. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. <laughs> looks like the Matrix. He just points like, oh, thanks. He looks so much like a thanks. character from the Matrix. I think I can take these off. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess Norman looks strung out, and he is strung out because he's addicted to some kind of mystery drug. And there's another, uh, I hate the word trope, but that's that's what it is. It's another trope of uh, characters, they all have some kind of problem. Nobody can be normal, but whatever. Here's Blake. Blake. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told office. me to be here. 
Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. <laughs> Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. <laughs> if you're looking for dead bodies and highways, well, and are you coming, Jaden? Yeah, that fucking FBI and cops don't get along so, because Hollywood. What happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami. Nobody can fucking pronounce origami properly. He's on his way, Lieutenant. I think one character can. Hour, Maybe two. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. See, he hates the FBI. No, All cops do. No, of course do. not. That's that's not what I meant. Fucking camera. Tony, I don't want to see a single Tony. shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Too late. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Uh... Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade. Come and see me if you find anything, okay? On the same team now. I think I need to turn the voice acting up. Sorry, it sounds a little drowned out, doesn't it? Oh, not by much. Maybe this will fix it. Just the ambience seems a lot louder than everything else. <laughs> Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. Yeah, he doesn't seem that bad here, but he's just such a stereotypical big shot cop asshole that you see in every fucking Hollywood movie weather, huh? with cops. Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. These exchanges are so awkward. Pretty chilly, huh? They're just like, what is up with this guy? When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. I already did. <laughs> is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos. No, it's a you. vodka. Help yourself. It's a vodka tonic. Of course, it's fucking coffee. No officer can go without his cup of joe. Ooh, burn your lips! Burn your lips! Oh, God damn it! it won't let me. Ah! Yeah, you can't quite fuck with some of these QTEs as much as I want. So yeah, that exchange with Blake is just awkward and, you know, like, all these Hollywood movies, they always have to have a detective and a cop not getting along because, ooh, dicks before... <laughs> what is it? I forget that term I heard in a movie. Swats before dicks. I think that was in Seven. This game is definitely inspired by Seven a couple times. You'll see later if you haven't seen Seven. It's a fucking Very awesome cool. movie. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Yeah, see all that information just from a footprint. His name, date of birth. It's like how, how the fuck do they know? And plus, like all this stuff in the air. Like there's so much fucking rain. Everything's soaked. It's not very believable, but just, you know, suspend your disbelief. And that's me spamming the R1 button to this, whatever this uh, field of scanning or whatever isn't that big. Uh, but first, let's, uh, let's look at the body, as they say. <laughs> these characters have these thick accents. I don't know, maybe Norman's supposed to sound Harry like he's County. from Chicago or something. Lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. It's not that bad, but sometimes it sounds so awkward. Now, I wish the game was more of this. Mud, like the other victims. Because it's pretty cool. I love detective shit. And I love this technology Superficial to a degree. On the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be postmortem. 
probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Dude, if we the had that technology... It's an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. I was saying, if we had that kind of technology right now, we would solve murders so fucking quick. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Yeah, I gotta remember all these little clues. And like I said, nobody fucking can pronounce origami to save their life. It's a Japanese word. A small origami figure in the He right says hand. it okay. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I think maybe three people don't pronounce it properly, but it, it just bugs me. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. I think that's everything, right? Yep. For the body. Poor kid. Oh, did I already look at that clue? It's been a while since Harry I've played Connett, this. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Yeah, see, if you you look at a footprint, how do you know where, like their date of birth and all that shit just from a footprint? It's not a thumbprint. So it's like they know is it because they have a record of where they bought the shoes and the place they bought the shoes also has a record of their thumbprint? Like who the, who who knows? I just find that amusing cuz it's just so weird. I don't think I- did I look at this clue yet? Shit, I think I did. And I have to remember to push the L1 button to, like, change where the camera is pointing, it's... Oh, whoops, see, I was trying to- <laughs> I'm used to games where I can rotate the camera with the right stick and then I end up- He's <laughs> standing, like, perfectly still. I'm doing the gesture like I'm gonna take off the shades. Oh, shit, he took them off. Put them back on! <laughs> no, put them back on! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man, I'm out of practice. What you have to see that arrow is really small. You have to move it to the right and to the right and up and around to the left. It's like, it's hard to explain. What the fuck was that blackness? God, this game is just really confusing me. I told you I was good at it, but apparently not. And then we have this fairy dust floating around now. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. I seriously doubt pollen could be detected when everything is soaking wet. But I'm no expert. Coming. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. I'm sorry if I'm Probably shouting. Everything's kind of loud in this game right now. I just wanted to be able to hear the dialogue now and I want to... Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Try not to interrupt the dialogue, I want you to be able to hear it. But sometimes the game volume... I've tried to equalize everything with my mic and my headset that I'm wearing. But it's kind of hard to hear the everything perfectly. Just after the pollen There's a good chance that they're the killers. Damn! It's a shame he doesn't have that same high-tech, ultra... fucking... <laughs> footprint analysis thing, like you know where his where he lives and everything just from his fucking boots. Uh, go this way, Norman. Harry Connick. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. That reminds me so much of a scene in Wolf Among Us. Oh! He makes these weird noises when he's like having... When he's struggling to climb. Yeah, these are these are the tricky, because you have to use like two fingers on the same side of the controller, but then another like later. Oh, <laughs> another finger. Like it, it's it's awkward sometimes to where it's really uncomfortable. I guess that adds to the. Oh, is he climbing or is he busting a nut? Jaden, calm down. Can't be that hard. Yeah, it's probably pretty hard wearing those shoes. <laughs> anyway, um, I was saying it's uh, trying to make it difficult, but it, there's a difference between being difficult and just being painful and tedious. For someone like me with carpal tunnel, some of this shit is uncalled for, but I, I forgive them. They don't know how else to make the game challenging, really. There's a good chance that they're the killers. 
object memorized. <laughs> I don't have to do this, but I'm going to. <laughs> he's all covered in mud. Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's having a poopy day. Tire tracks! Dude, Very this... Common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. Railroad. He's got a bit of a Maybe speech impediment. I think I've seen all there is to see. Pretty sure the guy playing Norman is English, maybe, and sometimes Eng people in certain parts of England have, like, a somewhat weak W. Maybe not England, I don't know. Somewhere in Europe, people have, like, a very delicate way of using the letter W, and his is almost like a speech impediment. I'm Baba Walters. This is 2020. Oh, God. I'm gonna fuck this up because it's funny. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Down he goes! <laughs> oh, come on! I was hoping he'd... Wait, I'll do it again. In the second part, he's gonna fall on his ass. Oh, 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 It's just not your day, is it? He seemed closer to the bottom than that. Wait, why am I climbing? Oh, there he goes! There he goes! Yay! Oh, come on! Fall, fall, fall! <laughs> nope, I ain't gonna... Oh... <laughs> I'm a dick. I can't help it. If there's a way to make the characters kind of suffer a little, or just have something funny happen to them, I'm gonna do it. This is a roast play, not just a let's play. Ah, oh, he's all covered in muck. Poor Norman. I thought you said you were going back to the office. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna stay for a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. I wanted to hear his thoughts. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. That does happen, unfortunately. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Yeah, I guess there's nothing new. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. <laughs> He's gonna need a... some dry cleaning. I'm playing on a 4K TV, and holy shit, the lights and the colors, especially like when he's got the glasses on, the neon tracks and everything, so bright. I'm actually squinting my eyes. It's like a little too bright. Hey! Oh, I forgot to buckle up! I think that was the first... Like, the arrow pointing to the left, I think that was me buckling up, but I forgot to do that. I thought that meant leave the car. Whatever. <laughs> I think- I still think this game looks gorgeous, it's just, you know, it's a little dated, but very impressive. And I know, roast play, probably not have a lot to make fun of just yet, because this part's actually- that part was pretty cool. You've unlocked a new bonus! It says that every single time, even though I've beaten this game. Ooh, I love this part with the Rorschach. Uh, that's a bat. A bat. That's definitely a wolf. A wolf's head. That's a crab. Actually, I see faces, too. Two faces back to back. And I see Grim Reapers. Death. Two Grim Reapers with two scythes pointing Death. in two different directions. This is the most fanciest, most ad technology advanced psychiatrist office with these weird chapel windows. And he's got some kind of brain scan thing going on. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. The way that guy talks is just weird. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. Why does this mouth fault, movement is dead. bother me? He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He hates me. 
<laughs> uh, distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. Picking favorites. Me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I feel like shit! What do you think? I feel dead, depressed, or... Anesthesia? I or... no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Cheery game, isn't Not even it? for your son, Sean. Nope! I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. <laughs> Jason was my favorite. Sean can go fuck himself. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Yeah. How much do I pay you hourly to put me in a fancy chair and ask me stupid questions? Uh, blackouts. I sometimes have these... blackouts? Times when... I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. D do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have uh, on the his brain. His head's out of frame. Why is his head out of frame? That's oh, the end time's of up. Session. That was we'll like 15 seconds. Next week. That'll be $6,000. Jesus Christ. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. Uh, lucky? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't me? exactly feel lucky, Doctor. You're lucky that your son died and you live. What a stupid thing to say. And, like, a minute ago he said, it's not your fault. But saying, ooh, you're lucky that you lived and he... You know what I mean? That's such a poor choice of words. Uh, school. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's You're grounded. Send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Uh, problem. Is I have to pick him. No, I'm all right. I totally believe you. I do genuinely feel bad for this kid. Must suck to be him. Do you want to eat something? Just shrugs. I like this chapter. It's it's better than the one where I do the routine Aren't you in the go house. Play with the other kids? You have to try to cheer him up. I don't feel like it. Oh, let's hear his thoughts. Sean used to love going to the park. Laughing and messing around. Man, he was so happy. But that was before. With Jason. I'm surprised it's actually not raining at this time. What am I going to do to cheer him up? We're just not communicating. It feels like we're drifting apart. Poor Sean. He probably got into trouble at school because of me. Uh, sad. Sean looks so miserable. I wish I could help him. Just not sure I can right now. Dude, go buy him a PlayStation 5. Maybe he'd like to have a turn on the swings. Bribe him with presents. Maybe you're right on the merry-go-round. I'm just going through the thoughts so that you can experience them, so even though they're not... In his bag. Used to be pretty good with one of those. They're not absolutely crucial, but a lot of people don't bother with these. Sean used to love playing on the seesaw. And like I said, I like this one because, you know, you... Well, if you actually give a shit, and I sure did the first time I played this, I wanted to cheer this poor kid up. You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Me neither. I've tried as a kid. It does not work. You have to be like... I've never been able to use a boomerang properly. I can barely fly a fucking kite. So I have to do... Okay, I gotta... Ugh. For that, you have to kind of jerk the controller down like like you're going to slam it down and <clears throat> not quite slam it down. Ugh, creepy smile and generic weird clap sound effect. <laughs> it's 
Sorry if you hear a noise from the mic. I'm trying to avoid hitting it with my... Because I have the mic kind of close to my mouth. Not to... Ooh! Almost Whoa, missed it. You did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, it's all in the wrist. Throw it. And he fucking pokes his father's eye out. Ah! Or it hits some child. They fall off the swing, crack their head open. Sorry, Dad! I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean! See? That wasn't so hard. Just, their accents, I don't... I'm not... I'm trying not to make fun of them because it's not really their fault. The, the delivery of some of these lines... I, I, this was, I guess that wasn't too bad, but it's just like, See? That wasn't very hard. Like, everybody just has this strange lilt. It's just a, in a little bit of a twang, depending on what word they're saying. I mean, there's no perfect American accent, because people sound different in different parts of the U.S., different states, but they just have this weird cadence, weird pronunciation. Hey, watch it! <laughs> I'll find something else to do with it. Let's see, uh... I forget what you can do. Oh, the seesaw. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. That must be, like, the only park where they live. There's way too many yeah. kids. <laughs> Most parks I go to, it's lucky if there's, like, five or six kids there. I don't go to parks. I just go for walks near a park. I loved seesaws growing up. My my dad made me one, and it was a Come giant on, wooden dad, plank. And it went up pretty fucking high. Can I bump him? No, Ugh. Dad, you're not doing it right. You gotta push off at the right time. <laughs> Sorry, I think I hurt his balls. Oh, and there we get that somber piano music. Isn't this supposed to be a happy moment? Yeah, I guess it is. It's, t it's supposed to be touching. <laughs> gotta admit, though, the soundtrack's gorgeous. It's really nice. <laughs> oh! Oh, that doesn't count for a fuck up. I kind of launched you off and hurt your balls. Oh, okay. He's all right. That looks like it hurts. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Watch the balls. Watch the balls. God, those weird smiles with the wooden teeth that just looked so weird back then. I'll find something else to do with him. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. No wonder. I don't think I want to see him smile anymore. Maybe he'd like it's to have scary. a turn on the swings. Maybe you're right on the merry-go-round. And he goes back to sit on the bench like, Okay, I'm bored. I'm bored already. Go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, I think I can buy him a snack. It's so weird. I've never seen anything like this in a park. I but like a, a vendor. of strawberry-flavored chewies, please. Strawberry chewies. Stranger that's with candy in a park. Yeah, it looks totally legit. All that's missing is a white van behind him. I don't know. You have anybody ever seen a candy vendor in the middle of a regular park? Hey, I haven't. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. <laughs> you ungrateful little shit! Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Nice of you. I hate strawberry! I'd fucking open them up and just dump them on his head and be like, You little shit! There are starving children in China! Looks like rain's coming. No, 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 don't I leave yet! Go. Oh shit, okay. I didn't mean to push that. No, 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 let's not leave yet. Ah, oh, I fucked up. No, I don't think I fucked up, because I have to take him to the... I think... <sighs> Maybe you can still do it. I totally forgot. I just hit the X button, not realizing... Ah! Let me look at the park rules. I remember it's kind of weird. 8 to 10, no parking beyond parking signs, campfires prohibited, no loud music, all hey, dogs... Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Okay, yeah. That's scripted. Sure. No liquor. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I guess that's all normal rules, but i never seen park rules big-ass sign like that. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's right there. 
I want to get back to being the kind of father I used to be. Oh, what's up with the camera doing that weird shit again? Sean looks happy. I wish I could see him like that more often. I think I could have taken him on a swing ride, too. I accidentally skipped it, but whatever, it doesn't- it's not that important. God damn it, game! <laughs> it's just- there! One, please. That's a dollar. He's in a little box, like... I've never seen a- a merry-go-round, aka carousel, in the middle of a little park, either. Usually these are in carnivals and fairs. I don't know, maybe it's just different where I lived as a kid. go with that weird buzzing vibrating controller fuzzy what why is everything so bright uh, durr. he's going making the dur face again durr, durr. Durr. <laughs> I deliberately fucked that up because I wanted to see first time I played this too I wanted to see if you could get hit by the truck <laughs> It's like, god damn it! He, he's at it again! He's in the middle of the road, in the middle of the night! And his son is nowhere to be found! Stop! Here we go with the Sean. Instead of Jason, now it's Sean! <laughs> I'm gonna make him Stop! run in circles because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I can't find him! What happened? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help it the way he screams Stop. that name. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, I'll make him go in the Stop. direction I need to make. <laughs> I just I remember it's just so funny him running in circles. John! 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 Oh, I forgot to push the, the thought button. I think I can do that here. No, I don't believe it. I couldn't have Sean. Sean, I've got to find him. The camera's really shaky. Sean. Where's Sean? What? It's nighttime. Oh, he's interrupting his own thoughts here. The house. He must have gone back to the house. He's not here. He's not here. His backpack's still here, but where's Sean? Sean! Let's do it again. He really sucks at searching, doesn't he? <laughs> He's just going in circles. That has to suck, man. Goddamn blackouts. Wandering aimlessly. That's <laughs> just good. John, where are you? Sean! It's just so over the top. I don't know. I actually list. I played the game on certain parts to hear what the different voice actors sound like, and the the Portuguese voice actor was so much better at saying Sean. I think it was Portuguese. <laughs> He's in the refrigerator. God damn it. Here we go again. You lost your first son. The red balloon. Follow the red balloon. Oh, wait. No balloon this time. Do we get the dramatic Sean? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's supposed to be sad. I don't know if you find it funny. Maybe... I don't know. Even when I first played this, I just... It's so over the top. Sean! 
I know, I know. It's it's sad. Like, what the fuck happened? Where's his poor little boy? Like, and back to Norman Jaden with his squinty, squinty weird face that he's making for some reason. Still, I really enjoy this game, despite all the shit I'm making fun of. Up twins, You're gonna see a lot of the same uh, NPCs walking around, kind of cut, copy paste, and a lot of them walk like robots. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. Let's listen to his thoughts. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. Except QTEs. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. Is that a euphemism? Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. This is kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having one of like this when I'm bored. I guarantee you this is... If, if it's not a real thing already, it probably will be before very long. Because we do have ARG. We have apps that do this, but... Something where you can actually... Like, this would be fun. To kill time. I like this. Gotta pop the controller, like, downward. Boink! Rather play like brick attack or pong or something. Those guys are like, what the fuck is he doing? Boink. I like the sound effects. How long can I play that? Okay, he does stop. I was gonna say, how long does that keep going? All right, get your ass up and do something. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've this been guy's weird looking. You. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, introduce. but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. <laughs> have you met Boundaries. Blake yet? Yeah, we met. The yeah, I met the dickhead. He has Turn his around. own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Sure. You know to tie a knot in a necktie. I guess. What do you have your wife to do it? And she forgot you, I to. Done without the FBI on this one, but the press. They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. They're how do you own suits and don't know how to tie a bow tie? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Oops. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, <laughs> and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. I can't believe I fucked up. No, oh, of course not. I think I just All let I'm go of one of those buttons by accident. God, these fast. are weird. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. I don't, I don't know how to tie a bow tie either in not real bad. life, but how can this guy not know? How does he owns ties but doesn't oh, know how to tie see them up? Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, awkward. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Do you not know how to tie your own shoes either? Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Uh, there's a bunch of optional things. I think the press conference. Wait, wait, wait. Let's. God, stop walking into walls. Oh, it's just a. Generic map. Think I need a good cup of Java. Cup of Java. I've never heard people call it Java. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? What do you want, coffee or water? Pick one. At about 6:30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing, 
An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death. But going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. People just taking the pictures of him talking over and over the again. The of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. I'll field some questions. Same yeah. shit you'd hear. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. Preposterous. The, moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes? Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Sorry, I'm not talking. Yeah. I'm just trying to let you hear this What's shit. Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. Mm. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. Or their skin it is color. True that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You Tis I. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. How many fucking pictures do they need? But it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall's been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Is that it? Thank Are they done? One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. Okay, that's enough. Sorry, I know that was incredibly boring, but... I thought some of that might have been interesting to hear. Oh my god, would you stop walking into- Oh, great. I'm fucking stuck. Get this dumb bitch out of my way! I'm trapped! Help! I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. If this woman will fucking move- Oh no, seriously? She- she better fucking move, cause I can't get out! I can't get out! Yes! Walk away! You fucking bitch! I was trapped behind Officer Dildo over here, I could not move! This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Gee. Get a hold of yourself, man. Get a hold of yourself. Let's talk to <laughs> Lieutenant Blech. It's gonna be a total prick to me, I'm, I'm ready sure. To start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Yeah, see, Blake, he doesn't seem that mean at first. If anything, I just thought he was a little grumpy. This is front page news in all the papers. It's not gonna be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Stay away from me. That woman's the one who trapped me, and if that wasn't her, it was one of her doppelganger NPC copies. If I remember right, it's like he takes some coffee and it's like terrible. It doesn't look like it would be terrible, it looks like it's kind of fancy. And it's free. <laughs> Come on, spill it! Damn. <laughs> That's that same noise he made when he when he was falling down that hill. Ah! 
<laughs> it's such a strange pain sound. Ugh. Probably makes that noise when he busts a nut and takes a shit. Ugh. Drinks bad coffee. Ugh. Now what's going on in here? Just gesturing like happy 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 questions happy 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 okay this quality content guys I don't know I I cringe when I think of the content I'm making so like I want it to be funny but I have a feeling it's just cringy nice watch oh it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants we bought the same model each year for the past twenty years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. It's but you can ugly. Contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Mm, no. Sorry, I, I don't have any chance. No problem. Lie. Maybe next time round. I ain't donating to some stupid cop that I don't even know for an ugly ass watch. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Wait, you see his office. It's an absolute shithole. I knew they weren't gonna give him any special treatment. They give him special, not so nice treatment because cops hate FBI, says Hollywood. Just like in fucking Detroit Become Human. Here's your closet, I mean, office. Complete this, with spider webs. This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. They couldn't just make, you know, flick a duster in the corners a little? Like, what a what a bunch of dickheads. I mean, it's good that it has a little window, but Jesus. It looks awful. Okay, <laughs> time to work. Wow. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. Yeah. Quiet and dusty and gross. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Why does this remind me of Silent Hill? They couldn't at least get rid of the fucking cobwebs? Gross. Alright. Oh god, even that chair looks disgusting. Yeah, a phone with no plugs. Plugged into absolutely nothing. Yeah, thanks a lot, police department. Can I flip it? Like, fuck this! No. That's a pitiful excuse for an office. Time to go into the Matrix. Step one. Change the office. Uh, a moment ago he said step one, go over the case files, but now he's like, no, let's change the office. I like this, actually. You, um, let's see. Oh, you have to thump it. You get to choose your theme. A virtual reality theme of where you want to be. That one's beautiful. They're all beautiful. It's kind of hard to pick one. Select. Uh, there's the ocean one, I think. Ah! But there's sharks in there! No! But it looks beautiful. I do love the... The bubbly ocean sounds. Uh, which stick do I- okay. And... This one. God, I wish we could actually do something like this in real life. Ooh. I like this because at least it looks like you have fresh air. But if you're afraid of heights, uh, no. But damn, that's pretty. I think this is the last one. This is the spacey one? Oh hell yeah. When you're on Mars! The surface of Mars! Dude, I can't decide. Oh, Ethan Mars. Mars is the... <laughs> I love the ambience. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Let's do the Mars one. I normally do the one in the skies. This is cool. I wish the whole game was more like this. This is one of my favorites, like, looking at the clues and shit. Tire tracks. Somehow you magically know exactly what kind of car and who owns the it. The killer's car Never is mind. probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. 
83. She's got that little speech impediment. What's a geoanalysis? Oh, you have that option, but usually it leads to nowhere. It's like, no, it's a map. Okay. Uh, analysis. A little origami figure. Looks like a little doggy. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Other than it's a. What about geoanalysis? Oh! Just one origami store in town. Could that be a lead or is that just a coincidence? What's next? Uh, the orchid. Blah, 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 blah. It's a flower. Symbol of innocence. Mm, a common species. That doesn't help much. What about on the map? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Damn. Well, you want to go to every single frickin' flower shop in town? No. Ain't gonna work. Uh... Now what do we... Clear all. Okay, those are clues. Next is the files. <laughs> like a virtual file cabinet. How does he know which one's which? <laughs> That's so cool, though. I really like that. Oh, you gotta kind of lunge the controller Eight up. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. How sexist. Aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Well, that sucks. Uh, analyze. There is always a railroad line Wailed. adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. A railroad adjacent to where the bodies are found. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Dude, I want more games like this. This cool virtual detective technology. It's wicked. Anal okay, I already analyzed. Now we got the or- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, they went round and round. Thump or lunge. Always the same ritual. Ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Jesus. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. That sucks. Uh. Oh shit, I already pushed that, didn't I? God damn it. We're gonna have to go through that all over again. Oh, okay. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Free time. And a freebie. wasco -wee wabbits No data. Damn, I was hoping he'd just appear on the map magically. Shit. Okay, I think we... Okay, analyze... Da, da, da. Uh, okay, that's it for that. Oh, wait. Uh, shit. Oh, okay, he doesn't go through the whole spiel again. Okay, uh, clear all. There we go. Um... Environment is just the the theme, I guess. It's cool you can look at the map even though I don't even know what I'm looking at. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh-oh. He's having one of those weird episodes we know nothing about. Other than he's, like, strung out. He looks terrible. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Now you have the option to I need either to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Have the option to give in. Here we go. Or fight it. That's all right. I know I can make it. I know. 
I know I can make it. Oh, I feel like crap. I need it. I, I'll feel better. This is like a good PSA about not to do drugs. No! Uh, don't take it. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Okay. It's like, I need to make more money so that I can buy more coke. I need to work more so is I can make more money right, to buy more coke. I need more coke so I can work. I need more money to buy mo <laughs> I need more money to buy coke. No one. No one must see. Too late, dude. That guy's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Don't break down. I can do without it. Oh shit, which one's the men's, re men's room? I can't remember. Uh, is that the ladies room? I, or is that the... I, I gotta hang What's on. wrong with the camera? I, I can't this. see him. Uh oh, the game's fucking up. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess it's either or. I think if I don't get to it in time, he'll take it. Cool, we made it. Yeah, I always try to... I'm anti-drug, so it's like, dude, I know you feel like crap, but clearly your body is not liking you for being... Whatever that drug is, trypto whatever, it's... Oh, pff. wow, psychic lady ghost. Ooh. It is clearly a drug. It has something to do with that augmented reality thing. That's about all we know. And back to Ethan. I kind of like how they transition from one character to the next in the same building and they don't even know about each other. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Lieutenant Dick please Cheese. please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so carousel. I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It's pretty cool. It the game about... wants you to remember. Uh, I think it was 4.15. Pretty sure. 4.15. Yeah, that's it. 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. I'm pretty what sure was it was 4.15. This, he was I couldn't remember. Uh, it was a... Uh, oh, shit. A black coat. No, it wasn't! It doesn't matter. And a pair of pants. It was green pants, right? Green? I couldn't read. Because they're all jiggling How everywhere. How have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Stayed. I can't remember. Stay. I can't see the fucking. I went for a short walk around Whatever. the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped, and Sean wasn't there. It really doesn't matter. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Uh, I searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, oh. Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? None of your business! Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Cops don't do that. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. Dead. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Ouch! Cops wait 72 hours before they declare someone's missing. So it, your kid doesn't come home from school and you're like, Oh my god, please help! My son hasn't home, it's 10 o'clock at night! They're like, sorry, you got 72 hours. And they say that the Did they find survival something? rate 
It's about 72 no, hours. Nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Great system. Do they... Do they think it's the origami killer? She pronounces it correctly. It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Mommy's pissed. Can you blame her? What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? That's Why low. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Jason was my favorite, that's why. Oh, thanks for bringing that up, bitch. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. God damn, this game really knows how to. Kick your heart, stomp on it, and poop on it, and be like, Ha! You're a terrible father. First your kid dies, then your second kid gets kidnapped, and it's all your fault! And it's like, I didn't do anything, I'm just playing a video game. Stay tuned for part three.